Well, this next small business is shaking up your traditional breakfast bagel with an exciting new twist. The Bagel Nook, located in New Jersey, has added a flaming hot Cheetos bagel and a Doritos bagel to their already unique menu. Or if you prefer to have cereal to start your day, you can try their Cocoa Puff or Fruity Pebbles bagels. Joining me right now is the mastermind behind these creations, owner of the Bagel Nook. Alex Berkowitz. Alex, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having so me. So what do you think? Let's just do it all together. Cocoa Pops, <laughs> Bagel. Oh, well, I guess we'll start from left to right. Right here we have our, uh, our Flamin' Hot Cheetos Bagel with some Cool Ranch Cream Cheese. Nice. Then we have our Fruity Pebble Overload. We have a Flamin' Hot Cheetos with some Ghost Pepper that we left on the side because it's got a little extra kick to it. And then we have a Cocoa Puff Bagel Overload and an Oreo Overload. Did, did you get a sense that the customers wanted to have a cereal type flavor in their bagel? How did you come up with this? Well, when we first opened up, we had to come out with something different, something crazy. We knew that we had to open up with a bang, so we started off making different kinds of cream cheeses, like our Oreo cream cheese, our birthday cake cream cheese, and then from there we turned into the bagels. And it all kind of just escalated How's into what reception? it is today. How's the People like it? People love it. We yeah. can't keep enough in stock. So how many different flavored bagels do you keep in stock at one time? Uh, we have uh, at least 30 different cream cheeses and over 25 different bagels right now. Mm -hmm. so. Cool. What flavor and matching cream cheese is your top seller? Uh, definitely. Well, the Flamin' Hot Cheetos is definitely on its way up, but our number one is always going to be our Oreo. In terms of small business in general, um, I asked you during the commercial break, in terms of getting shackled with regulations, this hasn't been an issue for you? No, not really. I mean, at the end of the day, everyone likes a good bagel. And, and, and you're, in terms of operating, in terms of having to go through the regulations that all small businesses do, you haven't felt that it's been an issue? No, not at all. Yeah, how's business gone? Things are good. Yeah. Things are good. Yeah. And are you looking to expand? Oh, well, right now we're just kind of enjoying the moment. I mean, I'm standing right in front of you right now today, so um, it's definitely a great, a great adventure, and you know, it's just the beginning. I know you opened only 16 months ago. You've spent uh, no money on advertising, so uh, this is a good, good opportunity. <laughs> How are you able to attract the attention to get uh, customers in the stores? Uh, well, when we first started, uh, we started off on Instagram and Facebook, and my sister took it over eventually, and. You know, I'm just grateful for her because if without her, we would have never gotten over organically 40,000 40, followers. Well, so. it's interesting that you say that because today you've got so many people trying to put vegan out there, healthier items out there. How has the competition from that part of the demand side of the story impacted getting a bagel for breakfast? Um, well, right now we kind of created our own little niche. So there aren't too many bagel stores out here that have cereal bagels and crazy chip bagels and Oreo bagels. And we started our own kind of brand with our cream cheese, so it's, you know, that's that's our, that's where we focus the on. The color of this, you could you <laughs> could play for Valentine's Day, so that that works right Absolutely. there. Absolutely, well. Alex, good to have you on the show today. Thank you very much Thank for you having so much. me. Thank you so much, Alex Berkowitz, joining us there.